Okay, hello students. Uh, I'm back to proving more formulas on integration. So last time I remember we worked on why integral of secant is ln of secant plus 10 and 10 pi by 4 plus x by 2 and co integral cosecant and like in the second set with a, b, c with uh, sum of the square and the difference of square in the denominator. Uh, then I also do proofs of set 3 when the radical is in the denominator. So in this, the difference between set 2 and set 3 is in this example the radical, there is no radicals in the denominator, it's almost exactly the same, look at it, it's almost the same thing. Uh, the only difference is here that are radical in the denominator. Then we need to prove that, I showed this y, the first one is done, that is sine square. This is uh, is this formula which is also cosine hyper, uh, cosine hyperbolic inverse x y a and this one is x square and so on. So let's see why the last fourth set a. This also is done with the substitution and without substitution. The b I showed with the integration by parts without substitution. So today I want to show the proof of this one. So I will begin with calling the c the set for c as integral of, integral of square root x square plus a square dx where the first part integration by parts integral u dot dv is u v minus u prime v so we are going to use that part here where u is this whole thing this is the v so let's apply the integration by part Okay, so this, so this is u times b, that is square root times the x minus integral of, now you need to take the derivative of, uh, so the derivative of square root of, this is square root of function is always 1 over square root of, this is the same thing twice, but then you also have to take the derivative on the numerator. So this will be one, I'm gonna write this way. So this is two square root of, and then again, you have to take the, the der derivative of the, of, of the radicals in this radical sign. So this whole thing, the derivative of x square is going to be two x, and then the plus zero, so the, the derivative of the constant is zero, so that's just a two x. And then times, times the v, times the v here, times the v. So v is x, so put an x right there, dx. Okay, now we're going to do some manipulation here. Some adjustment has to be done. Uh, x times x squared, that's one, right, one more step. So this stays the same, except that I will rearrange and write x in, in, in front of the radical minus this two goes away, and this x times x will be x squared, and this one. <coughs> so the question is, can we get the same uh, form, whatever the, the radical x squared plus x a squared? Yes. We, what, what, and the most what we can do is just add a square plus a square and then in order to balance this subtract a square right and then put a bracket for this and then we are going to separate this in a form rational form it's like a minus b over c we can write it as this form let's write that start so i this will remain. So this will be, there are two parts here, the integral also distribute the first one and the second one. So there's a minus sign, so I'm going to use directly this times this so integral of the first part, which is integral of dx. And second time, this negative and this negative will be positive, so that will be positive. And because a squared is a constant, you can take it outside the integral. And what remains is square root of x squared plus a squared here. <coughs> okay, now 
What about this part? Look at this. One more uh, fundamental that we need to know is if you have a if you have a a over root a, this is this is same as square root of a times square root of a, and what it reduced to just to square root of a. So this part is the same thing as a radical. So this is same thing minus this will be straight away square root of x squared plus a squared dx and this is a squared and integral of x squared plus a squared if you see from here c set 3 p is sine hyper sine hyperbolic sine inverse x y a this will be directly hyperbolic sine inverse of x by a and then this this is the same thing like what we begin see we begin with this part, so that's i. So this will be i. So this is i plus a squared sine hyperbolic x by a. So because I'm using the integration, I'll call this as c1. Now in this case. Uh, you see there's a minus i, there's a i, so these two things are the same, so you add i on both sides. So when you add i on both sides, so this i and i will be 2i equals x root of x squared plus a squared. And then this stays the same plus a squared sine hyperbolic inverse x by a plus c1 because uh, yeah you can call it constant just a regular constant doesn't matter i just call it c here then and finally we're almost there okay we are almost there so it's always good that not just solving thousand problem but we need to know how these formulas existed? Where did they come from? <coughs> so this will be dividing by two throughout. So if I divide this, that's why I, I okay, put C1. <laughs> so this then becomes another constant when you divide. So this two goes away. But what is I stands for? Square root of x squared plus a squared. And this is two. So plus a squared over to uh, sine hyperbolic inverse x by a. And because we are dividing, I'll call another constant c2. And there you go. So we can, we can also write this integral as this tool. You can uh, take half, uh, undo distributive property and write half times this will be a squared hyperbolic sine inverse x by a and you are done so this is the formula is to be used to find the area so what is this basically means that you know, we started with the equation y equals uh, square root of x squared plus a squared and if you square both sides you get y squared is x squared plus a squared and you subtract x squared both sides you get, you get y squared minus x squared equals a squared I'm just imagining what if, what if a squared was 9 and a is 3 it means one, two, three. It's a vertical hyperbola. Hyperbola. It's a vertical hyperbola, and you, the whole idea is to figure out what is the integral in this area below the curve. So, it could be asked a question from uh, minus five to five, and then you can easily find the area below this curve. That's why, and we use this. Uh, 
sine hyperbola here to figure figure it out. And if it was used this one x square minus x which is the which is the circle. So if we have had y equals square root of x square minus square and square both sides. And work it out with x square plus y square is a square, which is a which is a semicircle angle. So they look like an arch shape. This hyperbola, that's a circle. So they are curves. So in this example, we use arc arc of hyperbolic sine function, or we also call it hyperbolic inverse uh, sine, and that's it. So hope this helps. So it's so nice to know that. Uh, where did this formula come in? So, okay, so I want to wind up this video. So again, I repeat. The first set was y integral secant is this one, this one. Y integral cosecant is this. Y integral of one over one over all these forms are in this form. So that's part of the And also y integral a square minus x square is there. So, sorry, the third one is this one. With the radical, this was without radical sign, and today now we have seen why it is. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. In the next video, upcoming video, I'll be also solving a lot of problems which I have not done yet. So my first few videos are only why these formulas exist, and in each of these sets, let's see. So I want to solve a lot of problems based on this. Uh, we could we can solve any integral of one over quadratic, or it could be linear over quadratic, and or it is linear over uh, this form is this part. So a lot of problems can be solved just by knowing these formulas. We can figure out. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please sub subscribe and like the uh, be in touch and continue for the upcoming videos. Thank you.